Hi Overlanders! It's Two Up Tuesday. Our episode today is how to mount the bike as the rider. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to get on and how to do it safely. I'm going to do it without my gear first so that you can see and hear me better. And then I'll do it with gear and we'll see what that looks like. Uh, today we're using this touring bike that's got all the baggage on it so you can kind of see how I get on. Um, it's a Suzuki Bistrom. We'll do this one today and we'll do some other bikes in the future as well, but we're going to talk about how to safely get on as a passenger. Um, in this, which a lot of our two ups are going to be, it's a lot to do with communication. So we want to make sure that he knows that I'm getting on the bike uh, so that we don't spill it. First of all, we want to make sure that our foot pegs are down. There's foot pegs on both sides. They fold up uh, when we're not riding back here and fold down. So make sure both of those are down. Always going to mount the bike from the left hand side. Um, so you're always going to be on this side once your driver gets to where it's a safe place to get on if he's uh, Nosed in somewhere and needs to back the bike up. You're going to want to stand back and wait till he gets the bike ready for you Once he is he'll let you know So in this it's a lot about communication just like a lot of the two up videos we're going to do So I'm going to make sure I communicate with him that I'm getting on So Kyle's going to what he typically does so I know it's time for me to get on is he stands up so he's in a position where I know that I can get on the bike now. But before I do, I tap him on the shoulder or hold on to his shoulder, put my left foot on this foot peg. And on this bike with all the bags back here, I lift this leg up and then bend my leg and wind it through here so that I can sit down. So now I'm stable on the back of the bike. I sort of get adjusted, adjust my pant legs where they're not down and then we're ready to go. So he knows that we're ready. We're stable, we're ready to go. Uh, getting off and the same thing, he's gonna stand, so he's gonna know that I want off. I'm gonna put my hand up here. I'm gonna stand on both foot pegs. Then I'm gonna put this left leg down. And there's a couple ways to do this. You'll get comfortable with whatever. And then I drag my right leg through and put it down, holding on him for stability the whole time. Uh, one of the reasons you wanna make sure that he knows you're ready, if he doesn't have his hands on the handlebars or he's not standing up and ready, we're just going to do a small example. We're actually not going to tip the bike over, obviously. But if I go to stand up and he's not ready for it, the whole bike shifts my way. My whole weight is just on one side of the bike. If he's on his phone or if he's on a call or if he's not paying attention at all and I go to do that when he's not ready, this whole bike's going to come down and I'm going to be under it. So we want to make sure that we communicate on that one. So let me put on my helmet at least. We could talk about where you're gonna sit. Uh, the backs of every bike is gonna be different. So this one's got the, uh, the case in the back that I can lean on. Let's get this on. I'm not gonna completely do this because we're not actually going out yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna get on again. And I'm gonna show the position that you're gonna wanna be in when you're riding. You don't want your helmet to hit his helmet. So again, we're gonna communicate. He's gonna stand up and let me know that he's ready for me to get on the bike. I'm going to tap him on the shoulder so he knows I'm coming. Put my left foot on the peg, lift my right and thread it over. Other. And then I'm going to sit down. Now here I'm going to sit back where I'm going to be comfortable, get adjusted. He's ready and can sit down so we're ready to go. I'm going to want to keep my head a good distance from his. Here's a good measurement like from my pinky to my thumb in here. Because when you're riding, and again, if you're not paying attention and he has to stop quickly, the last thing I want to do is come forward like that and hit my helmet on his. So try to try to pay attention when you're riding. Keep your head a good distance from his. Be looking side to side so you can tell if a stop's coming so that you can ride safely. Uh, if you feel safer, then you can hold on. Here with the backrest, I don't feel like I have to do that. Once you get riding for a while, you get a good core muscle going or you don't feel like you have to hold on as much. But in the beginning, whatever it is uh, that makes you feel safe, if you want to hold on, whatever kind of communication you have with your driver. Um, we're going to talk a little bit in future episodes about other forms of communication. We've got these um, microphones so we can talk to each other. But there's some hand signals and some other things that you could do while you're riding to make sure that you keep the communication open between the two of you. So. That's how to get on and how to get off. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.